Good. Do you see how your arms right now, do, do you feel like they're, yeah. can you feel how they're not actually sending until you make pl contact yeah, with yeah, your yeah, plant? Yeah. So let's do yeah. it with that walk again. Okay. So let's just do this over and over again. Here, yeah. one, back, okay. lower, one, back. Do it again. Down, one, good, back, lower first, lower, one, and there, go back. I'll be honest, your arms do this naturally when you jump. Yeah. I've watched them, they, they're doing it, yeah. but wild when you strip it down, how those connections aren't there yet. So technique is efficiency. Yeah. yeah? You have a strong engine already. You are athletic, you, you're continuing to build that strength of power. You have natural elasticity. I can see it. Your body is really trying to source its energy from elastic return, hence the, the hopping. Okay. That like galloping behavior that you have naturally. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. springboard. Yeah. Now, that tells me that the, the likelihood is, is that your neuromuscular tendencies are favoring elastic. The discrepancy between your jump heights is due to technique. It's not really a strength, like yes, you could get stronger, you'll continue to get stronger, but it's much more technique oriented. So we talk first about the big macro concepts of technique. It's going to be connectedness. Yeah. Connectedness really de is how efficiently you move from point A to point B. Point A, start of your approach, point B, landing. Yeah. Losing as little energy as possible through speed. We are starting from a position of slow, yeah. moving through a position of fast into the air and landing back to a stop. Okay, so right now what's happening is there's disturbances in your acceleration. Yeah. The very first thing we're gonna do with your retest is we're gonna shorten your approach. Okay. We're gonna remove stuff that's not giving you anything right now. Right. Okay, when we introduce the, uh, a variable of speed for you right now, you're gaining two and a half inches. Yeah. I firmly believe that you'll probably jump higher off of like a single step yeah. than you will off of a full approach. Yeah, because really like what's happening here contributed almost nothing to what happens here. Okay, so we're gonna focus almost all of our efforts on what's happening from the initiation of our penultimate stride through the last two contacts and the timing between arms and feet. It's gonna be it, okay? And then what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna pattern the crap out of that and then we might try to add a step. Sure. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so connectedness. Yeah. And then two is how well you control your center of mass yeah. in relationship to your feet. Okay, if the center of mass gets ahead of your feet, then when you take off, everything's moving forward. If your center of mass is too far behind your feet, you're creating too much braking, right? You're slowing down. So we gotta keep everything somewhat vertical and loaded over top of our hips. Yeah which you're doing a relatively good job of because everything's very compact and short right, right now. So what I wanna do is first start you with understanding how to lower. So I want you to kind of formulate this a bit of a squatty stance. This is where we're gonna kind of start from when you initiate your approach from now on. Okay, so instead of here and running in tall and right. then like jumping yeah. down is we're gonna preemptively get you into a little bit of a lowered position and we're gonna work you up to this today. So you're gonna, this will be the jump that you're doing today. You're gonna to take a step, and you're gonna go from there. It's gonna be like step, push, punch, and that's it. We're gonna el eliminate all the other variables that confuse the body right, right, right. here. Okay, so what we'll do here first is come beside me. We're gonna kind of squat down, get a little bit of that step and posture. I'm gonna have you walk, so your left foot is your plant foot. So you're gonna walk the left foot out in front of you. This is gonna be a lot harder than it looks, I can promise you that. Okay. I want you to get the weight on the outside edge of that heel, okay. and that body's hanging back. Allow that back foot to lower, or the back uh, hip to lower a bit. Okay. So accentuate that foot even more. There we go. Arms back behind you. Ooh, I should have drank wine last night, right? <laughs> <laughs> From here, we're holding. And that's what I want you to do is hold. Extend the arms back as far as they'll go. Yeah, you can see they're nice and tight there, right? It's not easy. Not easy. Okay, so that weight, I want you to lift that front toe even more. Good. Breathe here, a couple deep breaths. <sighs> Checklist, shoulder over hip. Okay. okay, that's our initial alignment. Head is in a nice position, eyes are up. Good, from that position, just walk back to the start. Yeah, okay. 
shake the legs. These positions are going to be difficult, but thankfully doing your training that you're doing right now is heavily focused on having healthy knees and quads and hips yeah. and ankles, yeah. okay? So this movement that you've done here is a penultimate step okay. and hold. So here, penultimate step, penultimate hold. We're gonna hold five seconds and come back out, shake the legs. And we're gonna do that two more times. Okay. okay, and that's what I want you to do is one seamless step, try to find that balance. Okay, so this leg here, we wanna straighten it out a bit, get the weight back, good. And then shoulders forward a bit more so we're not leaning back, we're tall, yeah? Turn that toe out toward me a bit. Yeah, there. Rotate the whole foot. Good, now walk back. Okay, so as we step this foot, what I want you to think about doing is instead of stepping straight into like a, a lunge, yeah. I want you to think about pushing the foot out with a bit of an open toe okay. so that the... You're kind of curving into it like that? Yeah, like we're, we're gonna encourage a little bit of natural rotation okay. by kind of patterning the toe out a hair. Okay. That's gonna allow the hips to follow. Okay, so for now, like when, when we eventually do this jump, yeah. you are going to essentially come in from uh, this way, okay. rotating in, one, two, and then the likelihood is, is that if you, you'll go with your lead hand, yeah. right, and then you'll allow that rotation to carry you through takeoff. Okay, so here we're going to open that toe just a bit. Yeah. The weight you're going to feel start, more so, just of. a little bit, yeah, and you'll feel the, the pressure a little bit more in that rear hip flexor. That's the feedback we want. We don't want front quad. We want a little bit more rear hip flexor. Step and hold. Arms back. Good. And then step back out of it. Good. On this one, you're going to step and hold two, three seconds at most. We're going to incorporate what's called a walk through. Okay. Because after the penultimate stride is plant foot block foot. Yeah. And as long as we have our body posture good in relationship to our plant, yep. the next behavior we're eliciting is how do we get the block and the hands to meet at the same time where we're striking. So for you, it's gonna be, <laughs> here's my opposite plant, right? Arms back, and then we're gonna walk through. We're not losing this relationship, okay. and we're not changing our hip height from here. Okay, and then you're just bringing the arms through with the feet and then you step it all the way back. Okay, so down, we're gonna walk that foot forward. Okay, come back for again. Yeah. As you walk that foot forward, you're initiating arms back. So we call it send the arms. So push, send the arms. Okay. Starting off with you. Yeah, you're lowered. Send the arms, good. Walk. And then as you walk, you see how your arm stayed back with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to right, so now we're, all we're doing is building habits. Right. We're building patterns slowly, yeah. getting comfortable being uncomfortable, yeah. and then we slowly ramp up the speed of the behavior and we connect the pieces. So what I'm gonna do together and I want you to listen to the cues, okay? Ready, I'll do it, then you do it. Okay. So we lower, okay. step, send the arms. Follow me, so now you do it. Lower, step, send the arms. Now. We're gonna keep the arms back and they're gonna come through with the block. Okay. Walk, strike. Better, good, come back again. When you bring that block through, yep. it's gonna come through low, like a sweep, but the behavior is a punch, okay. aggressive to the floor. So as we get here, the behavior then becomes sweep, punch. Okay. Sweep, punch, sweep, punch. So step, send the arms. Weight back, okay? Better behavior with the foot. We just forgot the upper body, that's it. Right. Come back again, okay? It's all checklist. It's all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, I'm introducing a few more things quicker than I would okay. if we built you up over a program because yeah. I want to take advantage of our time. Right. So when you lower down, I don't want you to lower into like that sissy squat position. I want you to lower into like a, essentially an initiation a of a squat. regular squat, okay. yeah. So here, we lower, step, send the arms. I want you to hold, so step. Send the arms, step, punch. Better, that's your best one so far. Good, do it again. Lower, step, send the arms, they go back, good. Step, punch, good, go back again. Okay, so when you lower, when you lower, the arms don't do anything until you initiate your step. 
the arms and the legs will always work together. Okay. Nothing's gonna start a movement yeah. on its own. Yeah. It just doesn't happen that way. So when you lower, the arms really are just gonna kind of float in front. Sure. Then, as we initiate the push, they come back. Okay. So we're here, step, strike. Step, strike. Step, strike, good. Do it again, but pause in the middle. Okay. Lower. Step. Good. Come back again and hold that step, yeah? That's okay. Take a deep breath. Good. Lower. Step. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Right? So it's two things, yeah? You got a step and a strike. Okay. Step first, strike second. Well, there's a pause. So we'll go together again. Ready? We're going to step and hold. So here, step. Now you do. So lower, step, good. Now strike with the foot and the arms. There we go, okay? Again, I personally uh, respond well to internal verbal cues. Okay. You tell yourself, use my voice if necessary. Yeah. Lower, step, send the arms. Step, strike. Try that. Good, good. Now we attach the arms to the second piece. One, two, three. Good, good. Go again. One, two, three, good. And that foot right now that is, is aggressive. I love the aggressiveness. Right now it's like a, a stomp. Like, it's almost like you're trying to Just push kind of the floor away okay. through that pad and the big, like the, under that big toe. Yeah. Push into the floor. Okay. okay, nothing else changes, right? We're tall, you lower, you step, send the arms. Good, good. I think what's happening too is like, your step's becoming bigger. Yeah. And I, it doesn't necessarily need to get that exaggerated, okay? You're an elastic jumper, which means that the likelihood is that even as we get better and more efficient, mm -hmm. you're not gonna have like a super exaggerated mid-flight position. Okay. You'll stay more compact, you'll still cover distance, yeah. but your body will stay a little bit tighter overall because you're, that's just the way you source energy. Okay. So when you step here, it might just be like, step a little bit, strike. Okay, okay try that out. <clears throat> Good. Better, good, do it again. Good, pause longer in the middle, yeah? Okay. Take time, okay. take time, find that, and then checklist, am I in a good position here? One, yeah, it's okay. You know what's happening now though, is that you are initiating the movement properly now. Yeah. Now your body's naturally understanding the arms go back right, here, right, right. which is good, that's a win. Okay. Now it's okay, hit this position, Checklist is, where are my shoulders from my hips? Are they forward or are they over top? That's the second part of the checklist. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the time, technique sessions are the time to slow everything and strip everything right down and to essentially overthink. When you go play, when you go jump, we don't overthink, we just jump. That's it. So this is the time to, to take all of those mental notes. Yep, good. This time, a slightly shorter first step. Everything else the same. Hold long in the middle. Hold, go, better, good. And one more time. Steps in the arms, good. Very nice, good, good, good. Okay, shake the legs out a little bit. It's surprising how much stimulus you'll get from doing these drills. Yeah, yeah. When you practice the technique on your own, yeah. you'll also do the same thing mirrored to the opposite plant. That's, that's crazy. So Every time it, I've tried that, it's just been like... It will, it will feel atrocious until it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line is like, this is my opposite plan. Like okay. what you're doing is the opposite to me, okay. but like I've jumped enough times that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's I can do it. It's trained. Yeah. It's a trained skill. It, but it takes like hundreds of hours of over time it becoming a pattern. For now, all we're doing is essentially getting the, the, me the mechanics of the body to initiate in the opposite direction. Okay. Other than that, we really don't care. We're just like, try, yeah. right? Don't let it frustrate you. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I feel like <clears throat> it can only help, right? Just having... Well, let's think about the game you play. Yeah, it's more options. 
you don't move just one way. You don't only jump one way. Why train with boundaries? That makes sense. If I could go back, I'll be honest with you, when I was dunking and, and kind of in that pro dunk scene, I only trained my dominant plan. And I came from track where all of the jumping I did was off my right foot, high jump, long jump. I hurtled, right, right foot, woo. So I've built up an incredible imbalance to the point where it's contributed largely to what's happened with my back. Yeah. Having gone back, I would do things very differently. Yeah. Very, very differently. That's why we push so hard to get people to have that uh, mirrored balance, okay? So this is the kind of the, the, the step one. Okay. Move slowly, pause a lot. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I want you to initiate that same stride with what's called our push drill. So the push drill is we are going to lower and now you're gonna push, th just watch here. <laughs> easier, to, easier to just watch. Okay, you're just uh, doing the behavior of pushing, not really worrying about what's happening at the end. It's just the push. Here, we're just trying to cover some distance, really just getting your body used to accelerating through a stride. So lower and then just push. Good, come back and the same thing again. Good, and I like that you're presetting the hips, right? That's just part of it now, yeah? yeah. Preset the hips, push, and then back. Preset the hips, push. Okay, come back and the same thing on this, but remember the cue of the arms. So set, push, send. Right, those arms go back. They go back. Okay, come back again. Preset the hips and get yourself set. Okay. Bring the hands out in front, like, like just in front of your belly. And as you are rocking forward to push, where are the arms gonna go? So aggressive as you drive the hip forward, drive the arms back. They don't go forward first, right? They come, sorry, that's my opposite one. <laughs> Here, back, throw them back. There, better. And then allow them naturally from when they come back just to come forward. Push, send, good. Come back and set yourself up again. I know there's a, you'll wanna lean forward and try to get more distance. Yeah. Stay tall with the shoulder, drive the hip, even if it shortens the distance you're going. Okay. Good, come back again. I'm gonna put my hand here. Okay. When you push, uh -huh. I'm gonna initiate this movement. Okay. I want you to mirror it with your right hand. Okay. Okay, come back again. Right, we're not jumping up, we're gliding forward at the same hip height. Okay, so we're throwing them back uh, here. Get them back, launch them back. That's it, okay, good. Lower. You are a bit, yeah. you are a bit. And that's what I mentioned with, don't feel like you need to cover like an incredible amount of distance. Yeah. When you do that, then there's gonna be this, I need to lean to get distance. Right. Okay, so if you watch mine, it's not very far. Right, and it's, it's not like I'm trying to crank the intensity to 10. What we're doing is initiating a behavior in the proper position. Okay. We're just mapping that through the body. We're just mapping this. Down, push, down, push, and practicing staying tall and sending those arms. Okay, come back, hips lower to start, push, good. Good, do you see how your arms right now, do, do you feel like they're, yeah. can you feel how they're not actually sending until you make pl contact yeah, with yeah, your yeah, plant? Yeah. So let's do yeah. it with that walk again. Okay. So let's just do this over and over again. Here, yeah. one, back, okay. lower, one, back. Do it again, down, one, good, back. Lower first, lower, one, and there go, back. Okay. I'll be honest, your arms do this naturally when you jump. Yeah. I watch them, they, they're doing it, yeah. but wild when you strip it down, okay. how those connections aren't there yet. Good, not quite as far of a step. Right, it's not a lunge. There, good. Push, hips, hips versus, right? Hips lead, 
head doesn't lead. Hips. Yeah, I've always seen the basketball pages where like if your hips are going over, your head is going over, your knees are doing something like <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's not advantageous for power, that's for sure. There you go, good. Okay. Okay, better. One more time and then not quite as far and just walk it. Bah. Arms back. There. Good. Okay, get a sip of water. Okay, shake up.